How you doing? I just want to do a little review of the Gretsch 5420T. The two on the left are 2018's made in Korea. The one on the right is a 2019 made in Korea. And that's the 50s model. Um, just really quickly, the difference between those, it's not just the fingerboard inlays. You can see how the this orange one has got a quilty flame top on it. And it's got, got a lot of movement for a, you know, laminate top, but um, it's thicker. When you play these side by side, it's also 10 ounces heavier. And that's not just the knobs. The 50s is a heavier guitar. And I can tell just by feeling inside the F-holes, around the binding, etc., that the top on the top back and sides on the 50s model is a thicker higher quality uh, maple laminate and it sounds different it's just bigger sound and uh, sounds a little higher quality acoustically um, these two are different and you know how it is when you have a uh, sparkle painted guitars so how they tend to they'll be muted and stuff well these are, these are really good the green one being probably the lighter finish of the two and it's a more resonant guitar. I love the green one. Um, I love all three of them. Green one is just the neck is a little thicker feeling. It's a, it's really good. I love the 5420T made in Korea. Um, and these are rosewood fingerboards, not the laurel fingerboard that comes on the Chinese ones today. These are rosewood fingerboards. They're almost uh, too good. You know, just right off the shelf, all three of these were... You know, it takes no setup time whatsoever with a, you know, tunematic bridge like that. Um, you just get it to the height you want. And these Gretches, they're, it's almost like they're plecked. They, all of them come with incredible fret jobs. I've just not played one that didn't have really great fret jobs. Any of the Korean ones. Chinese ones play nice. I don't like the laurel fingerboards. I really don't like the laurel fingerboards. Also, these are sound post. So they're very acoustic in your hands. They don't have the trestle bracing like the new Chinese ones. Um, I, I don't like the trestle bracing personally. I've only played them at Guitar Center, where I've played a, a good handful of them, you know, six, eight, ten of them over the last year. Um, where these are just super resonant, super acoustic. They sound great just playing them on the couch. They're great electrified I don't mind the feedback I really like feedback personally um, the pickups are supposed to be a little bit different um, these are the black top filtertrons made in Korea's um, I like them a lot they're fine they sound great um, they sound a little different per guitar the green one the most uh, pure sounding on its own the other two are more mid-forward and uh, just like with the orange one, like I said, with the body being a little thicker and heavier, it's 10 ounces heavier than these other two. Um, it, uh, it, it sounds like it. It's just a more substantial sound. These are great. I love the Korean 5420Ts. I know you would too. They stay in tune okay. The 50s model, you can see it's got the spread earlier 50s headstock where the high E and low E are kicked out to the side a lot more and yeah you can tell it's a little rougher on tuning than these other two are one other thing I've had the roller bridge on all three of these the only one with the roller bridge now is the orange one the other two have got the stock that's the stock gold bridge off the orange one and then the stock bridge on the green one and roller bridge on the orange one. I don't like the roller bridges. Especially if you play hard. The strings jump right out of the saddles on that roller bridge. And I, I've done it on all three of them. At gigs where... And that's not a good thing. It's a really wacky experience. To have the strings pop off the... The bridge. Of course. Um, the ones with the stock, stock bridges on it. They stay in tune just fine. They're really not much difference than when they have the roller bridges on 
I like the feel of them better with the stock bridge. I like the feel of the tremolo better with the stock bridge. It's a, uh, it's just a uh, more uh, tight feeling, if that you know makes sense. The springs are all different on all three of these too, and you can do that kind of stuff yourself, changing spring tension, etc. But um, the Korean made, I would buy the Korean made 5420T. You know, eventually, I doubt they'll ever go back to Korea on this model. Um, the Rat Rod and the Tri-5 are still made in Korea. But uh, the 5420T, like this, you know, grab them at $650, $700 while you can, is my opinion. They're great uh, at everything. Just an absolute joy to play in a gig situation. Uh... Love them. Crane made Gretches 2018 on the blue and green and 2019 on the orange. Stock pickups, everything's stock. Change the knobs out on those for a little warmer feeling and you know, just all the metal gets a little bit much in a live situation. <laughs> you know, the tremolo, the knobs, the metal switch tip. That all got to be chewing my hands up in gig situations. So the blue and green one, I, you know, put plastics on them for that reason. But, whew, love these guitars. I can't say enough about Gretsch Korea and the quality that they put out. The Chinese ones are, are nice, too. One last thing is if you, you look at the horn, not the horn, but the Venetian cutaway here. And the beautiful round Venetian cutaway. If you look at the Chinese ones, they kick out right here. It kicks out a little bit and then makes the turn. And that's not classic Gretsch. These are all cut like classic Gretsch. And an incredible guitar for the money. I'm, I've never played a better guitar for the money. You know, 650, 650, and 750 for the orange one. Yeah, that, that's an expensive guitar for me. Um, yeah, buy them before there's no Korean ones out there on the 5420T. Have a good one.